Emergency in Sector 3. Hey guys, it's me, Vince. Uh, this is more or less kind of a follow-up video to um, all of the uh, non-Sappy um, Game Boy Advance games that are just incompatible with Sappy and the uh, GBA Muse Riper. Uh, so this uh, this video is basically going to answer that. And uh, as you can see right here, I have Metroid Fusion right here. The sounds are all basically ripped. But um, it's going to be different. You can't... I unfortunately do not know how to get sound font files off of games like Metroid Fusion. But you can get the sound effects. Emergency in Sector 3. Minute. To main boiler explosion. To explosion. To destination. Yeah, check that out, right? <laughs> yeah. So yes, you can get all the uh, sound effects and all the voice clips. Uh, that are present in games like Metroid Fusion or even in Super Mario Brothers uh, 4 for Game Boy Advance as well. I guess from here, uh, I'll show you uh, the process. It's very basic, actually. It's something I learned off of Twitter, actually, and I just sort of expanded on it from here. So I'm going to give you um, guys a little bit of a rundown. I'm going to be using Advance Wars 2 Black Hole Rising as my example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly um, exactly what this one's going for. And this is all the uh, sound effects. Now most of them uh, most of them I don't know how to get. Uh, I'm it's mostly like a sample rate and I'm not actually not really interested in those anyway. That might actually just be the game data, <laughs> for all I know. But uh, we're going to start by uh, going into Audacity. And once you have that up, we're going to go to File, Import, and then we're going to look for Raw Data. It's going to bring us up this, you know, our, uh, our Explorer. And we're going to bring up this is Advance Wars 2 Black Hole Rising. Uh, this is the instance I have, the GBA file I have. All right. So we want to make sure, um, two things we want to make sure of. Um, the first one is that we want to make sure the encoding is 8-bit and that the sample rate um, usually Usually what works is the 11,000 range or like a quarter of what you saw on the screen. So let's see what, what it had again. So it says uh, 44,100 hertz. Um, usually it's best to go one quarter of the sample rate. But what we're going to do is 13,500. We're going to import that, and we're going to use a specific clip, a sound clip, as our example. Let's uh, scrub around. Move out. Mission com There it is. Mission complete. This is the example I use. Mission complete. And we're going to compare it to the, um, the sound font uh, that I have. Uh, you can see it is the note C. And those are basically, uh, I think that C note right here, uh, key 60, is like our default that is not pitch shifted in any way. So let's hear the example. Mission complete. And let's hear our version. Mission complete. Mission complete. So it's very similar. You can you can tell it's a very similar to uh, what we have over there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you know, as long as you can um, get the sample rate, which is going to going to use a lot of finagling to uh, actually figure that out. Destination planet SR three eighty eight. Yeah, so usually the 11,000 range is ideal. And uh, that's basically all we gotta do. Uh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to bring out 
Super Mario uh, Brothers for Game Boy Advance. So let me go bring that up. Raw data. Let's go find it. Where are you? There you are. So let's see if we can find. Uh, let's see if we can find Super Mario Brothers. Let's see if we can find the Mario Brothers voice clips. And it's probably around here. That's where you can see all the unique stuff. Uh, I'm going to first, so I don't mess with your ears or anything, because it's all the raw data. Yeah, <laughs> all this is just, I believe, junk. It's probably like the visual data. Yeah, what you're hearing here is all the uh, the sound samples that are used in the music of Super Mario Brothers Advance 4. So let's see if we can find a voice clip. Ooh, those are sounding really high pitched. So let's see. Uh, we got the. Um... What I needed. That's what I needed. Oh, oh, oh. Mamma Mia. Ah, Mamma Mia. <laughs> Choose a game. Mario, Mario Brothers. Brothers. Here we go. Super Mario. Mario. <laughs> yeah. Here I go. Here I go. Waha. Waha. Gotcha. Gotcha. Lucky. Lucky. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. So I think I think the issue uh, with the Super Mario Brothers Advance games is that they're a lot more compressed compared to say um, compared to say Metroid Fusion, where the sound quality is a lot better. I think they had to use a lot more resources in comparison. So that's why um, that's why under my uh, understanding. These sounds sound a lot. They sound to have. They have a lot more garbling to them, and that's why um, I actually used half the um, the frequency, half the sample rate. So I think they're just less quality in general. So that's that's kind of unfortunate. And unfortunately, I'm not the guy to ask uh, for more information. Uh, but yeah, there are ways of getting the uh of getting the sound effects i think these are more high quality classic it's just the voice clips that um they 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 cheated on yeah so i i'd say the Eleven thousand frequency rate is ideal. And that seems to be the best way to get um, the quality that somebody would want. So I think that's all I can really leave you with. Uh, hopefully, this uh, expand things a little bit more for people who want them. All right, guys. I think that's all. Uh, my name is Vince once again, and I'll see you in the next one.